uh, hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so today we will be solving these two interesting interview question okay so let's start and uh, we have uh, op amp circuit so here the op amp is ideal op amp okay ideal op amp ideal op amp but here only non ideal it is the supply rails are limited to plus 5 volt and minus 5 volt okay all other aspects are ideal okay for a op amp now so we have four options here we can see and we have to comment what will be the output voltage okay so as uh, we can see that okay let's take this first question okay let's take it uh, let's solve the first question okay so we can see that there is a negative feedback present right directly we can see that there is a negative feedback so for an ideal op amp with negative feedback and the op amp is not in saturation we are assuming so we can directly uh, apply the virtual virtual short concept right virtual short concept so this node voltage will be equal to that node voltage right this is 3 volt now we have to check is yeah, like is this correct for our uh, uh, for our analysis so we will try to draw uh, like model of a op amp and try to verify our answer okay so let's start so this is the op amp model this is vd this is a dependent voltage source a times vd and here we have a 1 kilo ohm resistance so here we have 3 volt and here so this is negative feedback so this terminal is fed back to like that and this is our output okay so now we are telling that is this is a negative feedback circuit so this voltage will be equal to that voltage right this voltage will be equal to that voltage so this is the 3 volt so is our answer correct yes actually our answer is correct and not violating anything okay so this output voltage will will be 3 volt okay right this will be 3 volt so there is no contradiction now comes to the okay so one can assume that okay so another thing so no current can go through that branch right so you you will say you will say uh, that this so so no current can go through that branch as well okay so this will be uh, like i out will be equal to zero so there will be no voltage drop across this on kilo ohm resistance so ir will be zero so it will be a short circuit right we, we can say so you will you will try to draw this figure as like that so you will be drawing the figure like that 3 volt so eventually the this is a unit again feedback right so this voltage must reach there right this will be 3 volt but actually this is wrong okay there will be a current flow like that okay so so you like you got got my point right so this is cannot be true okay this is the true thing okay like this analysis is, is is wrong this analysis is wrong okay because there is a we know that this is a voltage dependent voltage source so the current can flow through that branch okay so here this uh, current can be zero and here the current can be zero but a output current will flowing flowing like in this branch okay in this loop sorry so now let's solve this second question okay So this will be figure two. Now paste it here. Now what do you think? What will be the output here? So again, we will be saying that it will be in negative feedback. Okay okay so second picture will be looking like that okay so this will be this thing this is 3 milliamps okay so this will be 3 milliamps like that so again what what you can tell so again we will be uh, we will be drawing uh, equivalent model and try to comment what will be the voltage output here and what will be the vx here okay so let's try and here is a negative feedback we can directly see from the 
from the structure okay but we will go to in the structure like the equivalent model okay so let me draw the model again This is 3 volt, this is V positive and this is VD. This is A times VD. And there is a resistance. Uh, okay, let me. Okay. So this will be 1 kilo ohm. And from here, we have 1 on, on milli ampere. Okay. And this is going to ground. Okay. And here we have feedback from that node to negative terminal okay so we have like that now what do you think what will the vx here so for negative feedback for negative feedback we will directly say that this voltage will be 3 voltage as well right so these become 3 volts okay and if this is 3 volt so what will be the current flowing through the branch so we, we need to comment this voltage right so that we can comment on the current flowing through that node right so let's take uh, okay let's take assumption that this current is zero okay this current is zero let's say so all of the three milliampere current should flow through this branch right so there will be a drop of what will be the drop so this will be three volts right this drop across the resistance will be 3 volt okay so now what will be the vx here so if this is v out is 3 volt we are assuming and no current can going through that branch so this voltage is 6 volt right because if, if we apply a KCL, kvl here so this will be 3 plus this 3 but we we have the limited supply uh, plus 5 volt and minus 5 volt so this this terminal cannot be more than 5 volt or cannot be less than minus 5 volt right so actually here the negative feedback is breaking okay so this is the takeaway okay this is the uh, like in this in, in this case the negative feedback is negative feedback is negative feedback is breaking okay so now equivalently i can draw the following okay so let me draw the thing so our uh, v out cannot be 3 volt okay it, it is confirmed okay so this voltage cannot be 5 volt okay this volt voltage cannot be more than 5 volt so actually this op amp gets saturated okay so this vx this vx voltage is saturated to plus 5 volt okay now this is a 1 kilo ohm resistance okay now what do you think what will be the output okay so okay so let me so let's say on uh, 3 milliamp is 3 milliamps is flowing through that branch okay so this will be plus minus 3 volt okay and output cannot be more than 5 volt so this is 5 volt vx now what do you think what will be the v out here what is the voltage across this 3 milli milliampere of source so this will be nothing but 2 voltage right like if we apply a kcl kvl over there so this will be nothing but that so our v out will be plus 2 volt okay actually so this voltage becomes 3 volt and this voltage is 3 volt if we input and this voltage becomes 2 volt okay and here the negative feedback is breaking as the op amp gets saturated to plus vdd okay so this is the final solution okay so you can think and in that way okay and again again uh, if you think that if you can think that uh, let's say no current can go through that branch so so all of the current has to flow through this on kilo ohm resistance right so there will be a drop of 3 volt okay like this is the intuitive analysis okay but if this is 3 volt across that branch and 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 we are telling that this voltage will be uh, uh, like the negative feedback in kicking so this voltage will be 3 volt 
but eventually this vx becomes 6 volt okay and that is not possible because our supply is limited to plus 5 volt upper level okay so now as it is a ideal current source so, so ideally there will be a drop 3 volt drop across this resistance so the output must be 2 voltage okay 2 voltage and this voltage gets saturated at 5 volt okay like the op amp is gets saturated and the vx will be 5 volt so and the v out is eventually 2 volt and the negative feedback is breaking when the uh, op amp gets saturated okay so this will be 2 volt answer uh, and one thing i forget to tell is that uh, actually uh, when it gets saturated na so actually the negative feedback loop is breaking okay so i i uh, i assume that this current is zero actually why i made this assumption is the following okay so actually negative feedback loop is breaking so this is not connected anymore okay this is not connected anymore so the equivalent picture will be looking like that okay a times vd and this is 3 volt and this is saturated to 5 volt okay and there is no feedback anymore okay now this current source is happy right this current source is happy with a 2 voltage across it right this okay so why why the negative feedback is not uh, valid anymore because this okay so negative feedback is only valid when this is ideal op amp okay a is infinity and there is a uh, uh, like uh, like the virtual short concept is only uh, applicable for uh, when the uh, uh, like op amp is not saturated okay not saturated saturated okay and there is a negative feedback right so actually if the op amp is get saturated now so the feedback is breaking so here there is no connection from uh, from output to the negative terminal okay so that i am telling all of the current is flowing through this one kilo ohm resistance okay so there will be definitely a drop of plus 3 volt like this right and this 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 current source is happy uh, with 2 volt across it because this is the ideal current source and it can it can have any potential across it okay so and and so and uh, so this is saturated to 5 volt so the case kvl has to be satisfied so v out will be 2 volt okay so this is the final analysis okay so this loop will be break okay so that i i was take uh, talking this current will be zero okay this current okay and uh, uh, and 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 let's say let's say another loop on this so let's say this is connected and some current will be flowing okay let's say some current will be flowing like that okay some current will be flowing so this current has to be larger than this 3 milliamps right because this current let's say i out is nothing but this three let's say this is i l and this is i negative okay so i out will be nothing but i l plus i negative so this this current has to be larger than 3 milliamps okay now if it is larger than 3 milliamps so this voltage drop will be more right this voltage drop will be more okay and if this voltage drop will be this voltage will be rising okay so this will get saturated like more quickly okay so it will get uh, like uh, at steady state it will be saturated to 5 volt vx v out will be 2 volt okay and this loop will be breaking and and yes the loop will be break so loop breaks so actually this is a small circuit but there is like lot of information okay you can think about but what i said previously na so this is the wrong thing okay so you will say the voltage drop across this resistance will be r0 and this will be short circuit and this will make this type of circuit this is absolutely wrong okay you need to draw the internal uh, structure of this uh, op amp okay so so that you can uh, uh, like conclude uh, correctly okay so thank you everyone okay so thank you everyone so actually the uh, like session bit longer okay so you, you please be here okay thank you